If you're wondering how professionals can always put their free kicks in the top bins and you're tired of missing easy opportunities, then here is the ultimate free kick tutorial that shows you how to score them from anywhere on the pitch. The first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to actually aim your free kick so you're not just guessing left and right. A lot of tutorials will claim aim it for the head of the second guy on the wall or do two steps to the right, but those things don't actually work. What you want to actually be following is the shadow on the ground because that is your straight shot. And if you want to visually see this, there's a really, really really easy way to fix this. If you move the right stick all the way up, then it'll be the blue line and you can follow it all the way into the goal. This line will literally show you where it's going on the X axis. So now you can aim this almost in the corner, but not all the way because you want to give yourself a little bit of wiggle room and then just pull the right stick back down to aim your shot like normal and it'll be lined up perfectly every time. But you might say, how do I move the right stick perfectly up and down so I don't mess anything up? Well, there's actually a foolproof way to do this. So when you zoom in, you see those tiny little white vertical lines. These are your X and Y axis for where the player's foot is actually going to hit the ball. And what we're going to do is we're going to line it up just on the right edge of the ball. You want the line just touching it. So no matter now if you're all the way up or all the way down, you have a guideline so you know you're right on that right edge. So what you do is go all the way on that right edge, move the right stick all the way up so that you have the blue line on the ground. Now line up the blue line so you think it's going right in the bottom corner and then move the right stick all the way back down. Again, staying on that right edge so you don't mess with anything left or right. Now when you take the shot, it is perfectly lined up and it's going to go in every time. And your next question might be, hey Tom, this blue line doesn't go all the way into the net like yours does. What's up with that? Well, you actually need to be using a player that has the dead ball plus play style. I use James Madison, even though he's not very good, but you can use Pirlo and some people even use David Beckham. These players all have the extended line, but I know again what you're probably thinking. Hey Tom, I don't want to start any of these bums in my squad just so I can maybe have them to take a free kick. I want different players. Well, the good news is that you don't actually have to change anything in your squad because there's a glitch that EA hasn't patched yet. If you win a free kick, you can actually pause the game, sub somebody on, and it'll let them take the free kick before making any subs. Normally, you'd have to take a free kick first or the ball would have to go out of bounds. Then you can make your sub and then they're in the game. But with this current glitch, you can actually sub them on to specifically take the free kick. So if you win a free kick within scoring distance, I absolutely recommend subbing somebody on with this dead ball plus play style because after you've mastered this tutorial it'll probably lead to a goal 90 percent of the time and then remember once they're on the pitch move the vertical line to the right edge of the ball all the way up so the blue line is on the ground and then you're going to line up your shot in that corner now keep the vertical line on that right edge and move the right stick back down so you can take the shot like normal and it'll go in every time so now you know how to actually aim your shot but the next step is how do you get the right height how do you get enough power to actually beat the keeper because in this example i had the free kick perfectly lined up. It was probably going post and in, it was probably going top corner, but there wasn't enough power and the goalie was able to make an easy save. Well, for starters, the distance to the goal actually does matter. I'm 24 meters from the goal, so I need as close to full power as possible or I don't even have a chance of beating the goalie. And because free kicks are actually harder to score this year than in any previous FIFA, here's the power that you'll actually need. From right at the top of the box at 18 meters to just about 22 meters, you'll want to use between three and three and a half bars of power. Anything less than three bars of power no matter how perfectly you aim it it's not going to be strong enough it's not going to be fast enough to get past the keeper and score a goal now a little bit further out from 22 meters to about 25 meters you want as close to full power as possible without maxing out the power bar because if you do full power even if you're 45 meters away from the goal you're blasting it 20 yards over the net and you're not even giving yourself a chance to score a goal no 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 and anything 26 meters or more don't shoot it. Don't do it. You're not that guy. Pros won't even shoot from that far out. But Tom, I see people scoring from 35 meters out. That's just a skill issue. You're just bad at the game. No, it's not. Anything from 26 meters out or more, it is all luck. Nine times out of 10, you're missing. The goalie's catching it. He's going to make an easy save and you're just going to give up possession. So only think about taking a shot if you have a good angle towards the net and you're within 25 meters. And if you have a hard angle or you're pretty far out, just pass it short and take the easy shot. This is a way higher probability of shooting like this and it's a guarantee that you're not going to give up possession. But now we have another problem on our hand that a lot of you guys have probably been thinking about from the start. But Tom, what if he moves his goalie? Yeah, this is tricky. If he moves the goalie just one step towards the wall, you're okay. Just shoot it anyway. It's not far enough that he can actually make the save. So don't give in to this mind game. The goalie has to be more than halfway over to actually make the save. So if he's right in the middle of the goal, just do what I taught you, do what you normally do and just take the shot like normal. And if he moves more than halfway, just go to the opposite side. It's 
wide open. It's the same thing. Just line up your shot like normal and it will go in. Look how far his goalie has moved over to the right. I'm just going to pass it short, take a touch. And that means that the near post is going to be wide open and there's nothing his goalie can do about it. And now we know how to aim and control the power of it. But here are some last second instant tips that'll automatically make you a better free kick taker. Starting at number one, the type of shot you're using. Don't do outside the foot. Don't do a straight shot. Don't do a knuckleball and do not do a chip shot for the love of God. These are inconsistent, less accurate. They're not going to allow you to line up your shot perfectly every time. If you master just one type of free kick instead of trying to be a jack of all trades, I promise you're just going to score more goals. Now the second tip, green timing. Go into your settings, game settings, and turn time finishing indicator on. Now back out and go into the trainer and turn time finishing indicator on. This is important in all types of gameplay, where green timing is going to be the difference between hitting a post and the shot actually going in the top corner. And especially on free kicks, it's the same thing. It's more accurate. It makes your shots more powerful. So if you can, just try and green time all your free kicks. Now at number three, the pitch design. This is a weird one people don't think about, but if you do small checkered stripes on the field, you can actually use the lines in the grass to help you line up your shots better. You can use the vertical lines on the pitch as guidelines. So you can use it to line up your shot and know where the post actually is so you can put it perfectly in the top bins. And finally at number four, we have actually practicing them. If we think about it, you'll probably get a chance to score a free kick once out of every three games. So if you play for four hours, you might only get to take five free kicks total. Versus if you practice in moments or the practice arena for about an hour, you can probably take 60 different free kicks. And it's not actually that hard to master. So if you spend maybe one hour every week just working on your free kicks, you can give yourself a 90 to 95% chance of scoring free kicks, which in some games is actually the difference between you winning and you losing. So in this sense, practice really does make perfect. So now that you know everything real about free kicks, you should be good to start scoring every single time. So let me know your thoughts on the video if I missed anything and remember to like and subscribe. Subscribing really does help more than you guys know it, so it's greatly, greatly appreciated. But thank you guys all for watching until the very end. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.